Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. We hope you enjoy our channel and if possible could you please join our Patreon page. We really need your help. It's been a long hard road. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Look at this Willis. This is pretty interesting. Three good sized saplings. One, two, three. All just snapped off. There's one female papaya right there with a couple on it. A lot of male papayas over here too. One time this area here was all cleared out and we had gardens going all the way down here. There's a female right here in front of me. Just starting out. But I'd like to have at least 30 papayas growing here, especially during the dry season. Murphy loves to eat them. And like I say, we get extra, we give them away to everybody. <laughs> but see, if you don't do something here, like we haven't been down here since uh, July when the rain started, and this was pretty much clear. Now it's reverting back to jungle. There used to be a path going down here into the bamboo. You can't even see that anymore. Nice down there in this area here. They're not up here cutting bamboo much anymore, but all through down here for the next quarter mile are all kinds of patches of wild pineapple. And those are super sweet, but they're full of acid, a different type of acid. And Marfa eat, they're like maybe a third the size of a Hawaiian pineapple. And when they get I think they kind of turn kind of a reddish color when they get ripe. But she'll eat a whole one because they're so delicious. But she'll, she'll actually break out in blisters in her mouth from all the acid. Probably be great for cooking and stuff like that. Now here's an interesting area here. Now if you're walking in the grass like this, walking into the sun, I can't see the ground. I can see the, the uh, sun reflecting off the grass and stuff and the weeds. But I can't see the sun. Here's a, look at this one here. Here's a little. Let me get on the other side of it. A little small spider building a web, big round web. Looking in the sun. Oh, there's another one. Sorry, buddy. Gotta move you. You're in my way. Need to get up my other camera and do a macro shot of this. You can't see him from this direction, I don't think. There he is right there. He's actually going around putting out the web itself. Pretty neat how they can do that. He's got strands going at least six or seven feet over these other trees here to hold up in the air. Pretty cool. Yeah, we need to get in here and get all this stuff, all this brush and stuff cleaned up over here. A couple of coconut trees sprouting. We lost a lot of coconuts in the typhoon in 2021. It'd be nice to get the yard all filled up again. A few banana trees out here, here and there. Got some sugar cane sprout and I cut all this down the other day. There's a fresh sugar cane, it's like a big giant grass. All these ones here that are in the ground that cut out. Now these I can just chop up into pieces. You can see they all got roots on them. Throw one section or two sections in the ground. A week later you'll have sprouts. If you wanted them, they take over after a while. But it'd be nice to have, like, say, all along the border of the, of the land, have a big giant row of sugar cane, you know, kind of as a, not really a fence, but just a border. Over here we have pineapples. This is our biggest patch of pineapples we've ever had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen pineapples. That's a lot. 
Now these are supposed to be Hawaiian. Usually the Hawaiian pineapples don't have any serration on them. Usually they're just completely smooth. This might be some kind of hybrid or something. I don't know. Not even seven o'clock yet. Got the moon out there. See if it'll come in. There it is. Amazing at the very end of the zoom, it'll refocus. That's a moon that's getting smaller, a waning moon. Big giant palms. Bamboo blowing in the breeze. There's no breeze where I'm standing at, but up in the air there's a breeze. Maybe a slight little breeze here. Alright, let's see. One more thing. We'll just look at the carrots real quick. I'm sure you don't care about them, but they're impressive to me. First time I've ever had carrots growing here. I need to thin them out real soon here. Got some bags of manure now. I was thinking about mixing it in here in the sand and then take the ones, the carrots that I pull out over here, I'll loosen the dirt up, pull them out every other, every, you know, leave one every inch or so, every two inches, and then put the extra ones over here in the sand with some manure mixed with it. See if they'll transplant and grow. You gotta be real careful when you pull a carrot out, you don't break the root at the very bottom, though, the tap root. Look at this, there's the termites again. They're everywhere today. Had red ants over by the chickens. Had a whole troop of these going. So they're walking over here, that's where these are all coming from over here. A lot of them over here, they're moving too, because here, here's, here's a big bunch of them here. Look at all those. Hundreds of them, thousands of them in the, the rows, look at them all. They're going over here into the tree. Are they going in the tree or just over to it? Oops. Going right to there. Now they're kind of going down that way. A small troop. You never kill them all. They're always more coming. The other thing I have in the garden, which is growing so slow, it's driving me insane, is up here there again too. Here, see they're still coming through here. It'd be nice to find out where they're coming from. More over here, going down there. I've got the sequa going. That's the loofah sponge. I got one. And two climbing. Something ate all the leaves off this one. Hey, they're in the trees here. Look at they're all in the hibiscus trees. Alright, take care everybody. I'm gonna go hunt some termites. Thanks for watching. Take care.